Hey, it's Don, the auction professor here. I wanted to address a couple more things that were brought up to my attention from actual people who had this happen to them. They got some warnings for having auctions that said, pick which ones you want. Basically, they had a big listing of, say, 20 or 30 different items. And for five bucks, you could pick five of those items out of their listing. This is just an example. It's not specific to either one of those folks who had contacted me. And eBay actually dinged them and gave them a warning. It's something you can get suspended or kicked off eBay for just keep that in mind too. It's a violation of the policy. You cannot list something that you have to pick or choose. It is considered by eBay as a theft of fees because basically you should have listed each one of those items in a separate listing. So by doing that, that's a major violation. I see those types of listings all the time, but obviously at this point to get two different people to tell me that they got a notice about it, eBay is investigating and doing something about it now. I looked, I was going to put some examples up here, but I don't want to call anybody out and get anybody dinged if that's what is going on right now. So I'm not going to show you any examples, but you'll find a ton of them there. They, they're usually in like CDs, music categories, sometimes uh, various different categories, I guess you could say. I've seen them all over the place. You cannot do any listings that say pick or random or mystery. Any of that stuff is not allowed on eBay. And I know you'll see mystery boxes all the time. I know there's videos of mystery boxes. It is not allowed on eBay. You have to have a tangible item. And I know many people try to bypass it by just saying there's a box. You can't do that. It's not part of the process. There's no way that the person actually buying can verify what was in it, the condition or anything. And that's a requirement for every single listing that eBay has. That is a fact that you can look up on their listing requirements page. It's a big, huge thing. So you got to watch out for that. Doing this over and over, getting dinged from eBay will get you booted from the site. It can get you suspended if you're not booted. You do it again after a suspension or after a warning, you could get booted as well. My honest recommendation, if you get a warning for doing it for one item and you got another 20 or 30 items doing the same thing, is to pull them all down now before you start to get a ding. If you get a couple dings and a ding here and a ding there, they're all going to add up over a length of time and they're going to say that you are intentionally violating the rule after you have been warned. So again, not trying to scare anybody and not trying to put this out as anything other than what it is. Most other sites like Amazon will not allow you to do that. The only way you can list a whole bunch of items in one listing is if they're identical items other than, say, a size, a color, or a texture or something. Those are variations which you are allowed to do. If the item doesn't look identical other than those issues, you cannot list it as one auction. You are violating the rules again and bypassing eBay's fees, which is a major violation. So there are many issues and many times that I see people doing this. eBay is looking for it. They can easily search your listings for the word take a pick or pick one or pick five or whatever the case may be and figure out which ones are doing this. eBay even has things that say the title must specifically talk about the exact item what you're getting in there. You can't say mystery. There's a bunch of things like that that are not allowed on eBay. So again, you can't list a multi-item listing as choosing of any kind. You can't do a random selection either because again, there's no way for the person who buys it to confirm or deny what is or isn't in there. Every one of those cases Cases, if the person who's buying it wants to, they could open up a case against you as not as described for every single one of those random listings that you sell. Every time you do that, that's a given. So that means every time you do that, even the free returns are not going to save you on there from everything I can see, especially considering that most of the random ones or take a choice are non-returnable items. So just keep that in mind. Those are all considered manipulation of the system to circumvent the fees. So don't get yourself caught up into there. Don't list a whole bunch of items. Buy this one, pick this one, pick that one. It will all get you in trouble. And at this point, it does seem like eBay is going after these and is sending out notices and pulling down many of these that are up there. So again, you can look this up. You can look under choose, chance, pick, um, any of those kind of titles in there. And that's where I usually find these. There's thousands of them up on eBay right now. Again, just because somebody else listed it and you see a whole bunch in the sold listings doesn't mean it's okay. It does not mean that those folks did not get dinged too. 
just because it ended, they may not have pulled it from the ended listings yet. The person still could have been dinged. It could have been even canceled. They could have uh, offered the actual buyer a refund, and then you'll get screwed. I've heard many times where something happened to you as the seller. eBay lets the actual buyer keep it after they close your account or block you out, and there ain't much you can do about it in all honesty. So cover yourself. Be safe. Don't use those types of auctions. Don't do that at, on eBay. Don't do it as an auction. Don't do it as a bin. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do any that say pick five for five bucks, pick five for 25 bucks. I see it in music. I see it in cards. I see it across the board, even in toys sometimes. Know what you can and can't do on eBay. You cannot do multiple item listings like that. Now, you're allowed to do a big lot of items if it's all one price for everything in the photo because everything is shown in your images. That's the difference. The listing that's a lot, that all the items are included for one price, shows everything so it's all shown, talked about, and discussed. The other way, picking, say, five for five bucks is not the same because it shows a bunch of different records or describes a bunch of different records, and you're only getting part of them. So again, that is not a listing that's allowed on eBay, regardless of what you see or any other aspect of it. It's in the user agreement you sign. So you can get yourself kicked off again. Don't do it. But just be safe. Follow the rules. It's just that simple. So hopefully that gave you some thought on this. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified notified when I post new content or go live, subscribe and tell a friend.